Hello and welcome to episode 28 of Stuttering Demystified. My name is Laurie Melnitsky. I'm your host, and I've dedicated my life to working with people with ADHD, executive functioning challenges, and stuttering issues. I am a speech language pathologist and an ADHD life coach and empowerment coach. In today's episode, I really want to talk to you what executive functioning is. And if you are a child, if you are a parent of a child struggling in school or a young adult, or if you are an adult struggling, it could very well be possible that you or your child has what we call executive functioning challenges. Now, let me say I am the parent of a young adult now who has ADHD. Um, And I didn't know what that meant. And not too long ago, I was in your shoes. Not too long ago, I was kind of rocking my head against the wall, not knowing what to do because I was dealing with my own child who I knew had the ability to really shine and have the potential on the school system. It just wasn't working out well. So executive functioning is develops fully in your prefrontal cortex of the brain. What does that mean? What exactly does that mean? Because I've had I've seen this word thrown out so many times. These are your children, no matter how old, who are getting stuck. They could be bright, but they're stuck. They can't organize. They can't start a project. They promise you that they're going to start a project in an hour, but that never happens. They start to write a paper. They never finish it. They might even bring it to school, but they not made that, but they might not hand it in. Why? Because they're afraid of failure. They don't want to be told they were wrong because for so many years, these kids, it takes them longer to develop the full, the brain. So many of these kids don't even really fully develop until age 25. So they're at a disadvantage. They're bright. They're doing amazing. And coincidentally, at the age of 24, my daughter is thriving. And I really, I saw it gradually happen, but I really saw it happen in the past year. So we have to really encourage, empower. These are the kids, though, who they resist because they don't want to do it. They're not motivated by it. They're not engaged. It it isn't their way of learning. Many of these kids are very creative kids. I will see them after college. They like opened up their, one opened up their own bakery. One became an entrepreneur and started selling shoes. These are not your traditional kids many times who will be at a nine to five jobs. Sometimes they are, other times not. I can even tell you, me, myself, as a speech pathologist of over 30 years, I wanted to be an entrepreneur and an ADHD coach because it allowed me more, in my mind, flexibility and I could rely on myself more. Um, So I, so that's what executive functioning is. It's it's like your brain is in charge of your whole body and it's telling you, can you plan, can you organize? But you they basically feel stuck. So I'm going to expand this, but I wanted to leave this podcast a simple podcast because the word executive functioning isn't understood and I've been told this by many. It's basically your brain is not wiring it's it isn't organizing it's like you're playing baseball but the pitcher is not pitching you're playing golf but you don't know what to do with that golf ball you've practiced a million times but you get out there you you can't organize it everything that we do 
takes time, planning, preparing, even going supermarket shopping. You have to make a list. You have to think what you really need. You have to write it down. You have to get to the supermarket. You have to have money. You might not th think about it, but that's what happens. When they're filling out a college application, they have to sit there and figure out, where do I want to go? What do I want to do? What do I want my essay on? Where does it have to go? So these things can be helped, but they need help. And these kids can sparkle and shine like you've never known them. I mean, you know them. You're their parent. You might be their parent. You might be their sister. You might even be a teacher. These are the kids who shine. So please keep following. If you would like more information, if you want to join, there is a Facebook group online. And I will post the link. It is called Lori Melnitsky, ADHD coach, ages, I think it says ages 17 and over now, but we're going to change it to ages 15 and over. If you want more information, you can look at my coaching page on www.allislandspeech.com under coaching. Don't give up. These are your kids who can sparkle, shine, and dazzle, and I can help you. Again, this is Lori Melnitsky. Oh, I just said my name. Lori Melnitsky, ADHD life coach and speech pathologist of over 30 years and a proud parent of a young adult with ADHD.